Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for us to the channel. We're going to take a look at the VK9001P, the tier 10 German well, well, reward tank. It is the tank you can get from the New Year's event. Full details will be available soon on the official World of Tanks Blitz YouTube channel. I will try to do a bit of a video on that uh, later on once I have the details myself. I haven't been able to find out yet how this can be gained. But by all the looks of it, this will come in a bit of a fair, in a bit of an auction, it is your chance to get the tank. But should you be excited for it? Should you try to get it? Uh, yeah, I think you should, because it is a side-scraping beast that has a few really good traits in it. It is a German tank, which means it has a good gun, it has... Great frontal armor. The, you can see the turret looks like an E100 turret mated to uh, a Tiger II, basically. It looks like a VK4502B uh, as well. And it is, as said, a side scraping beast. That frontal armor is to die for. The side armor is really good. And I'm going to show you fully how to use this tank in combat. But first, a little bit of a taste uh, you can see here on uh, Castilla as I'm bouncing shot after shot. And of course, 930 from the Death Star, that's helpful. Trying to put a few shots into um, tanks on the top at the Castilla. If there's still anybody there, there's fire coming in from over there. We have an object on 40 flanking us. And yeah, I, I will get shot in the end in this game because the sides, they can be penetrated easily. And I probably should have gone off the hill a little bit earlier. And I go up a little bit too late getting shot by the standard B but again I'm blocking shots from that T-54 and the Obligon 40 is rolling in as well soon but it is a large vehicle to hide <laughs> you can see that as well it is, it's long, it has tricky gun depression more on that later, we're gonna take a full look at the statistics as well but as long as you keep, you, as long as you can keep that frontal armor towards the enemy and as long as you can keep it angled you can, you can see already what I'm doing here where I'm keeping my gun basically that's how you will want to play the tank and to show you how to use that armor profile here are some more bits this is one this one is from uh, a game I did on Port Bay and those of you who are observing now what I can see on the screen can already see that the gun depression is indeed a bit wonky um, because you have more gun depression over the side than you have over the um, over the front, and not just like it's uh, it's one or two degrees. It's massive. It's really massive. I said, hold on to your horses. I will be taking a full look at all the statistics later on, and you can see me trying to angle the tank already. I figured out that I have to <laughs> he <laughs> that's going to work. I have to keep my front angled, keep the lower plate hidden, and that's, then this tank is a bit of a beast. I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a game later on as well when we are on. What's it again? I think. Um, where are we? Yamato. No, Naval Frontier. Naval Frontier. Blocking a shot from the IS 7. And against um, medium tanks that are not spamming premium ammo, you can really make this tank work. That shot goes into the turret, blocking yet another shot from the STB. Gonna shoot the Batchet, and then I'm going to move out in front of a Death Star later on because then, because I'm stupid. But about this shot from an STB, I kind of forgot about the Death Star. I think, oh no 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 no, don't shoot me! And he did. <laughs> Luckily, he tried to fire. Uh, he did fire. The big girl didn't enter my engine deck because obviously it's still a. Uh, it's still a uh, German tank, and when people see a new tank, they go, full retard, I want to kill you. <laughs> bye bye, leopard. <laughs> Great stuff. Um, but as said, you have to keep the front of the tank pointing towards the enemy. And that's uh, obvious, pretty obvious, that's usually the case with all the tanks that are in the game. Um, but this one even more so. So without any further ado, let's hop into Armor Expect to show you the armor profile and then we're gonna take a look at the statistics of the tank. 
Here we have the armor, you have uh, some white tracks there, the gun as well. The frontal arm is 230, but it's sloped backwards as you can see, so effectively it will be much thicker. Side armor is at 140 and just above the tracks, a little bit lower, 120, but still very, very much useful. The lower plate is well, pretty trash, but if you keep it hidden and if you keep wiggling your turret, the fronts, they can be penetrated too, especially by the big guns at tier 9s and 10 and heat shells. But the sides are pretty effective as long as you don't over angle your tank. And that then looks like this. This is from the perspective of an object 268 firing AP. And you can see the cheeks can be penetrated, but it's not a guaranteed pen. The cupola can be penetrated, but it is just a small uh, weak spot. And like I said, lower plate pretty much trash. But if you angle the tank and don't angle it too much, you can see what is happening. This is a side scraping beast. Shots will bounce constantly. There's a bit of a weak spot just below the turret on either side that one will go through. And if you overangle your turret, anything will punch through. Because, yeah, there's not a lot, <laughs> not a lot, a lot of armor there. But it relies on angling, it relies on side scraping. And take a look at this in terms of the gun depression. You can see that? Minus four, minus four, minus four. But as soon as you come towards the side of the tank, it starts to go to minus 5 and a 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 fully towards the left and the right side of the tank. But don't do this. Don't use a 10 degrees of gun depression. Keep the gun over there. Pointing over your inner track wheel. Keep the enemy in front of your tank. You can use 6 degrees of gun depression, maybe 7 at a pinch. That will work even against the uh, Object 268, provided they don't shoot you straight through the track wheel. But yeah, this is, this is a side scraping beast. So now we're going to take a quick look at uh, the statistics and my recommended equipment setup. You can already see that the DPM on the tank, it, it's not brilliant. Um, that's usually for tanks with good armor, they suffer in the DPM. But what this tank has in its 12.8 centimeter gun is 265 in terms of uh, penetration on AP. That's brilliant. You get a 460 alpha shot as well. 3 out of 13 if you're comparing it to all the tier 10 heavies. You don't get the 640 of the E100 or the um, VK72 or 1K. But yeah, the penetration and the damage, that's pretty darn good. Gun handling wise, it is a good gun. It's not brilliant, but it's good. But as said, you are quite, a, quite an agile tank. The speed is not great. Reverse speed is 15. That is uh, funky. But it is... It is good what it is. It's a line stopper, basically. And what I did to um, to really enhance the uh, capabilities of the tank is go with the calibrated shells. I mean, if you take gun ram, you only at 173 in terms of DPM. That's not brilliant. I'd rather go to 278 in terms of penetration and on your APCR to 336. That rivals the 340 heat of most of the tier 10 uh, heavies. I recommend using calibrated shells, a gun laying drive and a vertical stabilizer. And then I was using the improved modules and enhanced armor to really help that side scraping capability and a toolbox because you will get tracked quite a lot. High end consumables, get the engine accelerator in there as well and the improved optics. And of course you will never be able to outspot uh, well driven medium and light tanks but adding a bit of chocolate, protective kit and improved fuel goes a long way and this was my setup in the games I played in the VK9001P so far. And I know I haven't shown a full game yet because I decided to add little bits of, of footage that, that showed how to play the tank uh, the best way. Um, instead of just adding one really easy 8th game where I was driving around like a Muppet on Black Goldfield, Captain Blaze, and then uh, that was an easy ace. Um, this is a proper one. Yes, this is a proper one. I, I, I admit it straight away, I might sound arrogant, but this is a proper ace game. I mean, the tank is a good one, it has a German gun, it is a good gun, it's not monstrously accurate, it's not a sniper schnitzel tank, even if it's a German one. But you have to play this one in the front line. And I'm going front line, I'm hoping this bad chat will move away, and once I figure out, oh, I'm spotted by that uh, mouse, I'm backing up. The bad chat wants to shoot me, and I shoot him back, because that's how the game works. Angle the armor. Bounce a one shot, there we go, tracked, repair the tracks, bounce another shot, there we go, do not repair the tracks because I'm not, not in harm's way, but I can shoot the bad chat again, and he's gone. Ta-ta! Lovely stuff. Um, in the meantime, Reds are capturing A, 
And that's why I want to go here now. I am the line stopper. My team is uh, really trying to take care of that mouse as much as possible. I can only track their eyes for and then get shot in the lower plate. Um, might be able to go through my front plate as well, but I think it was the lower plate. And then I try to back up, back up, back up, back up. Angle the armor, yes. Angle, 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 yes. One shot block, two shot block. There we go. And then the uh, the eyes force says, ha ha. And I'm thinking, yeah, ha ha my ass. I'm, I'm going to ha ha you. I'm going to ha ha you right through the side because I have calibrated shells and I can punch right through. There we go. Through the side, no problem whatsoever. And I'm going sort of hill down again using the gun oppression. I said it's wonky, it's limited, but I can hide my lower plate here, angle the tank, shoot him, bounce another shot, that's a heat shell from the IS-4, and he is losing a lot of health. In the meantime, I'm still trying to figure out where that mouse is, he's behind me, you can see the tank destroyer is over there, you can see that medium tank, I'm going to shoot him through the lower plate, there we go, 503, and then I realize, ooh, there's the mouse, I have to run away. Pre-angle the tank to the IS-4. Going forward, going forward, going forward. My speed boost is nearly back. Good stuff. He cleared the standard B. The E100 is cleared by the FE. Can I shoot the mouse because he's moving in? Yes, he's moving in. Shoot him once. Lucky bounce on the front. Then turn towards the IS4. There we go. Bounce another shot from him, hopefully. Come on, come on, come on. My engine boost is moving in. Yes, I get shot from the left, but I don't care because I want to clear him. And I got good ban. And I got a 460 Alpha gun. There we go. Bounce a shot from... I think that's the... Yeah, that's probably an APCR shell. Uh, might be the Conway shooting, but there's a Waffle in the back as well. And I can't shoot the Conway now, but we've held the line here. And I blocked 3,250 damage. But that's not all that's going to be in this game. 485 in the side of that mouse. There we go. No spotting assist. That's a bit unfortunate. You can see, still see those ribbons over there. But I'm looking at this and I think it's 3-on-3 three three in terms of tanks killed. Uh, the mouse is going to go down. Yes, is he? Yes, pop goes the turret. And I've done 4k damage. It is 4 versus 3. We have got B captured. I'm not going to capture A. I'm not stupid enough to, to drive in there straight away. And then I go forward and he spots me and I spot the Conway and I... Should have pulled back and then shoot instead of doing this because I get shot by him. But I also blocked another shot, which is, I don't know, what is it? What's that? HE from a waffle? Something like that. Anyways, 3,850 damage blocked. Nearly 5k damage dealt. This is what the VK9001B does best. Hold the line. Well, in complete beast mode, just hold the line over there. And allow your team to revolve around you i've said that in my mouse review in the e100 review i think as well you are the anvil around which all your teammates can revolve and you have to go front line to soak up the damage you're not a sniper schnitzel tank that can just sit in the back and and farm the damage you are not a dpm tank that can just punch through because you are big and you will get outspotted before you might be able to spot any uh, other tanks because you ha are a rear turreted, uh, uh, rear mounted turret tank. But yeah, HE, even with my 12.8 gun against a waffle, can work. And look at this HE on him, angle the tank, bounce again. There we go. 4,240 damage blocked, 5,395 dealt, and boom! <laughs> there goes the bad jet into the waffle. GG! This is how you should play the VK9001 B. Is it worth the money? I have no clue whatsoever at the time of making this video because I don't know how you can get it. But if you can get it at a good price, it is a freaking beastly tier 10 German premium heavy tank. Thank you very much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Digital Birds, good luck in the New Year's event. Stay tuned to the channel. There will be lots more to come. I'll catch you all on the next video. Cheers, happy tanking, and bye-bye.